Watching The Golden Bachelor really reminds me how important companionship is versus passion. You know, it's so important to understand that, you know, we're not talking a young bachelor, you know, he's looking for a wife, someone to create a family with, different goals, different mindset. Whereas The Golden Bachelor is looking for a, a deeper, I feel a more profound, intimate relationship on an emotional level, right? And so we really need to separate the different desires. And as you get older, your relationship you know, needs are met in different ways. And I think it's really important that you know, the Golden Bachelor does mirror life as we get older. I think it does mirror um, our importance of self-esteem. It mirrors that our needs are just as valid as a young bachelor, but they're different and more compelling in more interesting ways. I want to talk about today companionship versus passion as you get older when you want to start a new relationship. 50 plus, I'm in my 50s and I realize now that my needs, I'm in a relationship and I realize my needs are different to what they were when I was younger. So I want to have a little chat about what that means if you are looking for love. What you're looking for, you know, is a friendship, of course. But also, I really believe intimacy is such an important part. But let's not confuse intimacy with sex, okay? Because as we get older, things do change. And it doesn't mean you don't want to be intimate with your partner, but sometimes I know many couples that sex is not the same or it's just not possible because of physical situation that they're in, right? So if you're thinking about looking for love, my name's Georgia Foster. I am known as the emotional well-being expert, and I really have a massive passion for supporting people as they grow older and as they evolve to really honor who they are at the age that they are. You get into your 50s and you're looking for love, you know, I think it's such a great idea to have that desire to want to be with somebody. You know, talking about companionship versus Passion? Well, I think passion really shifts. And I think, you know, that's, of course, you want to be attracted to your partner. You want to feel that desire to be with them. But, you know, studies do show that the couple that stay together who are intimate, not just about sex, it doesn't have to be about sex, but actually skin on skin, touching, communicating, having that intimacy is incredible. Now, when you think about it, when you're in a relationship whatever age you are. Of course, I'm assuming that you want to be faithful to your partner. Is that skin on skin moment, lying together in bed, being naked with each other, connecting? It's not just a sexual situation I'm talking about. You are the only person on this earth who is experiencing that with that one other person. Now that's a pretty intimate moment, right? That's important. I think that connection is such a an important part of a relationship. Let's put the sex aside for the moment. Okay, the sex is the bonus. It's more about having that sense that you two people together are the only two people doing this together. And so going on to the point about companionship, having that, the art of conversation, being able to expose your vulnerabilities. Um, I was watching some, some moments of The Golden Bachelor that TV program about the older guy looking for a woman his age to have a relationship with. And one moment he's talking to Leslie, this beautiful woman on the inside and out, and she lets him know that she has two hearing aids. And that he, you know, when he whispers into her ear, he has to be careful because she has the hearing aids there. Now, I think it's really honorable to be able to be attractive and have your vulnerable moments too. Your bodies change, things change. We don't change. Of course, you know, we we have our moments, obviously, being an older demographic where, you know, it's not about having that bikini on like you used to wear, right? It's about having that beautiful moment where you want to grow older together, where you know that you're on the same path. And that we all have our physical vulnerabilities, right? Whether it's it's, um, not being able to uh, 
have sex because of impotency or it could be a lot of reasons, but it doesn't mean the passion dies. It doesn't mean that intimate relationship dies. It just changes. It just evolves. You know, and being a hypnotherapist, you know, for so many years, you know, what I specialize is helping people realize their truth, their worth, their value, and that being in a relationship, if it's your desire to be in a relationship, is looking at the bigger picture, that it is about having that deep connection with somebody and feeling safe, safe to expose that you've got hearing aids, safe to expose that sex is, just doesn't work the way it used to. It doesn't mean that you are are asking for a less loving relationship. In fact, you're looking for someone to really be in your corner, right? To have your back, right? To protect you as you can protect them. But to have fun with it, to acknowledge it. So really thinking about, uh, you know, companionship versus passion, they can be in the same relationship. They're just different ways of looking at it. You know, my top tip is make a list of all the ways that you feel comfortable to be intimate. Is it massaging each other? Is it just to lie skin on skin? Is it to be together when nobody else is around and just cuddling up and really knowing that it's just you two together? That's the priority. When other things are going on around the world that you know are there, but this is your inner world, that you have these special moments together. And that's a really another form of companionship, right? It's just another way to express having passion for each other, giggling and laughing and having those wonderful moments where you just are the only two who get the joke. That's a beautiful moment of passion where you are attracted to each other, where you feel very drawn to each other. These are all beautiful moments that your mind can start to connect to. But if you've had a history of being hurt or whatever remember that's your past it's time to move on and one way you can actually do that is with the power of hypnosis to start to bring that beautiful beautiful attractiveness into your mind and your life no matter the physicality no matter what's going on in your body is you have the right as a human being to be in a beautiful relationship one where you have passion and companionship i think is completely possible but sometimes it's about changing your mindset improving your sense of self-worth and my program believing in you does that it's about helping you really believe in yourself and i think it's so important to bring to the table to relationship the desire to be intimate emotionally, to expose your vulnerabilities like Leslie with hearing aids, you know, to know it's completely okay, but it's also a very attractive quality to have. Just like with the Gold Bachelor, it's looking for a deeper, a deeper relationship that has a beautiful sense of passion to it. And, you know, I think a passionate relationship is about being aligned, feeling that you are able to expose your vulnerabilities and your needs as you get older. I think that those qualities are important. So if you'd like to join me on some other podcast moments about being in older, beautiful, intimate relationships where you can have companionship and that intimacy, however best suits you as a person with your physicality and the partner that you want to attract, I'd love to share with you more top tips. So please subscribe now and join me on another moment to discuss the power of love, discuss the power of relationships and the power of you as a person. Thank you.